Drew McIntyre and Bray Wyatt continue to be missing in action as the WWE draft looms. Drew McIntyre has not been seen since his match at WrestleMania, and Bray Wyatt has not had a match since the Royal Rumble vs LA Knight. They both can't still be recovering from undisclosed medical conditions. Are they staying at the same hospital, in the same hospital room? The rumors swirling around them hasn't stopped the WWE from moving forward. Zelina Vega will now be the sacrificial lamb to Rhea Ripley's title defense at WrestleMania Backlash. Vega has as much of a chance of defeating Ripley as John Cena has of winning his 17th World Championship. For some reason, Seth Rollins is facing Omos at Backlash. Have the two of them really even been introduced? Austin Theory will be in a triple threat match against Bobby Lashley and Bronson Reed for the United States title. This match makes some sense since Lashley and Theory have been battling over the title for months, and Reed has recently been interfering in Lashley's matches. Most likely, Theory will remain champion due to Lashley and Reed focusing on each other, leaving Theory to pick up the scraps. With the WWE draft coming up next week, it doesn't seem like there are a lot of storylines going on to hype it up, or the Backlash pay-per-view. Brock Reigns, or excuse me, Roman Reigns, continues to occasionally show up for work. His rivalry with Cody Rhodes seems to have ended, or been put on hold, since Rhodes is now involved in a feud with Brock Lesnar, with a match presumably happening at Backlash. This leaves Reigns playing card wide open. The tag team titles will not be defended at Backlash, since Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn will be teaming with Matt Riddle vs. The Usos and Solo Sokoa. The winner of the match doesn't really matter, other than continuing the bloodline feud with Owens and Zayn. It seems that EO Sky will be Bianca Belair's next challenger. Most likely at Backlash. The two have very contrasting styles. Sky was a dominant NXT champion. However, since she got called up to the main roster, although she has won the tag team titles twice, has really not been able to showcase her talents. It doesn't seem likely she will be the one to dethrone Belair. Not unless she receives some outside interference from the rest of Damage Control. With Gunther's successful title defense against Xavier Woods, it is unclear if he will have another opponent in two weeks at Backlash. What is interesting, on SmackDown, Michael Cole made a reference to potential number one contenders against Owens and Zayn for the SmackDown titles. This suggests that Owens and Zayn could be drafted to SmackDown as just the SmackDown Tag Team Champions, with the Raw Tag Titles being defended separately on Raw. At the moment, the matches and lack of meaningful storylines between the top wrestlers and title holders seem a bit dysfunctional and underwhelming. The hope was that following WrestleMania, the storylines would kick into high gear, moving toward the draft. However, having a main event match on SmackDown between Matt Riddle and Solo Sokoa, allowing him to get tripled teamed by the bloodline, with Owens and Zayn nowhere to be found, just makes no sense. Maybe the WWE will shock the world in its last show before the draft on Monday Night Raw, and start to piece together the chaos that must be happening behind the scenes.